Hello everyone, welcome back to Watch Gauge. Uh, this is John, still in my cast. I'll be in this for probably a few months. Uh, I want to do a video today to kind of give everybody an explanation how the waiting lists on Watch Gauge work. So when I know that I've got watches coming in, uh, we do promote them a little bit prior. Uh, you'll notice that a lot of the watches on Watch Gauge, we don't do pre-orders for, so what we do is we'll promote them in advance and I give everybody the opportunity to join a waiting list. And I do get people quite often ask, well, gee, how do the waiting lists work? Uh, does it mean we are guaranteed a watch or does it mean we're, you know, we're in priority or how does it work? So I want to give everybody kind of an explanation of the watch gauge waiting list, how they work, what we do with them and how they can benefit you if there's a watch that you're interested in. So we'll jump right into it. I'm going to uh, try to share. Here we go. So this is the home page of Watch Gauge. On here, you'll notice across the top, we've got home, watches. Once you go to watches, the brands that we carry will, will populate there. I think my little screen in the screen there is blocking a bit of it, but yeah, so that's, there, there are the different brands. Uh, we do occasionally have some specials on watches. The one I wanna focus on here is coming soon. So when I know I have watches that are coming in soon, I will make a listing in this section here where it says coming soon. And the watches that I'm listing here will also be on the brand that they are. So uh, we'll click on that and you will see a lot of coming soon watches, right? So right here we've got on the top is the NTH Devil Rays, uh, Zodiac World Timers, the Watch Gauge exclusive Draken Tugela Shaka, which uh, we sold out of in no time. I think we did 50 of those. I've got another 25 that should be here in the next week or two. Um, and then the V2 of the NTH subs, so the version two of the NTH subs. So any watches that I know I have coming in will be listed in this section. As I mentioned, they are also subsequently men um, listed on the brand page. So. The V2 subs will be on the NTH page. The World Time Zodiacs will be on the Zodiac page. Draken will be on Draken and so on and so forth. So they are dual listed. So just to give you guys an idea of how the waiting list work, if you see there's a little bubble above each one that pops up, it says join the waiting list. Let's say for instance, you're interested in the V2 Barracuda Vintage Black with a date on the Oyster Bracelet. You click on that. The listing is here. It's the same listing that will be listed once it is in stock, right? You would end up click on joint waiting list. Give me your first name, last name, email. And then if you have been a customer before or if you have created an account within WatchCage, you put your password in. Uh, once you fill this out, I will end up getting your name on a waiting list app that I have built into the back end of Shopify. Simple enough, right? So I will know with any particular watch how many I'm getting in. Let's say I might be getting an eight of the Barracuda Vintage Black Date uh, on an Oyster Bracelet. I may have 10 or 15 or 20 people on that waiting list. The benefit to being on the waiting list is that I will give those of you on a waiting list for any particular watch 24 hours advanced opportunity or more to purchase this watch before it gets listed on watch gauge to the public so you join the waiting list for any one of these particular watches here's the devil ray blue with date um, we're expecting them in early august 2021 so you join that waiting list when those watches come to me and i get them and i do quality control just and nth does quality control then i do it then what happens is I will email everybody on the list, let them know the watch is in stock. They will have a secret link to that watch where they can click on it and purchase it. After 24 to 48 hours of that happening, if there are any watches still available that didn't get purchased from the waiting list folks, then they will get listed to the general public for sale. So hopefully that was super easy for me to explain, for you guys to understand. But on Watch Gauge, any watch I have coming in, in the coming soon section, you can join the waiting list. One thing I will really ask everybody to do, as you can imagine, uh, 
I get a lot of people who simply join the list with no intention of buying it or say, hey, well, you know, there's an off chance I'll buy it, which is fine. What I do question everybody to do is please, if possible, when you do join the waiting list, just do so with the actual intention of purchasing the watch. I understand if things happen along the way and you decide not to take it because you bought something else or because uh, the funds aren't available, whatever the case may be. It's really no harm, no foul if you join and don't buy. However, when I look at these waiting lists, it helps me gauge how many I should be buying from the brand. So I do ask that if possible, when you are joining waiting lists, do so with the actual intent of buying the watch. Again, it's not the worst thing in the world if you don't buy the watch, but it does help me gauge. Just like if you were having a party at your house, you're asking for an RSVP just to get an idea how many hot dogs and hamburgers and sodas and things you could buy. Uh, it's kind of the same idea. It's not a huge deal, but I'm just asking because it does benefit me with knowing how many watches I should be ordering of that particular watch. So again, I hope that was super simple enough to understand why I have waiting lists on Watch Gauge, what happens when you join the waiting list. If you guys have any questions at all uh, on YouTube, you can pop your questions in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Currently at the moment in that coming soon section, you saw we've got the Devil Rays that will be here in August. We've got the V2 versions of the NTH subs, which I believe I'll have in the next week or two, as well as the Tugela Shaka that, again, I had... 50 of those made. I sold out through those in probably a week or two. I have another 25 being made just simply because we had so many people asking for them. Um, those will be in in the next week or two. And the Zodiac Super Seawolf uh, World Time Limited Editions that will be coming in again. I'd, I believe that one's coming in in August sometime. So that's what's currently there. What I suggest that you do is when you do visit WatchGate, check that section because I'm always always updating that coming soon section so thank you guys so much for watching the videos for following along and for me personally most importantly buying the watches it helps me keep my dream alive i hope everybody's well and uh stay tuned to this channel uh hit that little bell icon below it'll tell you when i have a new video coming out and certainly subscribe but i do have a video coming out uh hopefully today is monday the 12th so i have a new video coming out i think either tomorrow on the 13th or uh, the following day on the 14th of July on uh, the first look at the brand new version of the NTH sub. So uh, the V2 NTH subs, a video will be popping up on there very, very shortly. So guys, take care. Thank you so much. Subscribe, follow, check out our Instagram, Facebook, and everything else, and, uh, and we'll get back at you soon. Cheers.